Alright, so we are replacing the windshield wiper on the Grand Cherokee. This is the 2013 model here, but it probably works on all of them. Uh, I got the windshield wipers from Costco. The driver side is a 22 inch. Here it says 22 on the packaging, and the passenger side is a 21 inch. Um, you will notice immediately if you do it the wrong way. Um, if you put the 22 on the passenger side, then it will hit the rubber on the side, the frame of the vehicle, so that's not good. I would suggest to start out with the passenger side because it's a lot easier to reach, because that clip there is closer to you. Um, no needless to say that you shouldn't wear any clothing with like metal knobs or uh, zippers so that could scratch your, your paint on your car, so be uh, careful there. So my coat that I wear has like the zipper covered. Now we are taking out the new ones from the, from the box that comes in this uh, packaging here. The they are separately boxed, like one is the 21 and one is the 22 inch one. There's a lot of clips for other vehicle brands in there, so we don't need all of them. The one for the Grand Cherokee comes in, it's, in, it's installed on the blade already here. So let's see this here. How that goes. I'm going on the driver side, I show more in detail. We are just getting here a quick overview on how we do this. Okay, so the clip has to be removed first from the wiper blade. That's uh, sometimes hard to figure out, you need a little bit force to pull it out, it just clips in. There's really no trick to it other than that you have to pull it out. As I said, I show this to you in a second on the driver side in a close-up where I get closer with the camera. So once you have this clip out, so you see I have trouble doing this. I only do this once a year. It's a little weird. Oh, that works but that's why you're watching this video so you insert the clip into the wiper arm and then you just snap in the blade until it clicks once that's in you're done let me get my packaging here out of the way so there that's gonna work so let's see this again close up you have to push in the packaging on both sides to get this stupid cap off the clips for those other cars are underneath the way, that's why you can't push it in all the way. It's hard to get off, seriously. There it goes. I want to keep it intact because I also use it for more blades. And now I have the winter blades on there, and the new ones are here, good for the summer. There we go. So the Cherokee clip is in here. You just pull it out. You go in there with my thumb and pull it until it clicks. See, there it comes out. And now we insert it in the, into the blade. The open notch in that, in the clip, points towards your windshield. Let's see if I get the camera a little closer here. There we go. So we insert the clip into the wiper arm, pull it up, there. It can be a little loose in there, it doesn't matter. And then we clip the blade on, like just push hard. There we go, there it's on. You have to click. Okay, it has a protective yellow plastic piece around it. We need to remove that because that won't wipe good. Now it's perfect. Okay, now. We need to check the sprayer, on the left and right. It is very important when you have new wiper blades on there that you spray good. You need a lot of water on the windshield. 
And we see here the right one is a little awkward. If you don't get enough water on the windshield, your wiper blades will die faster. You, know, you don't want to have them rub dry. You need water on there, and lots of water. So you can see the driver's side is not very, very well working. And those um, nozzles are expensive if you go to a dealership. So it's best to have a few in stock always. Like just order them online and have them laying around where you find them again. With the key of your car or whatever, whatever you put that. Because eventually it will break. So I ordered this online as you can see here. This one and now that I plug my last one in. I'm going to reorder immediately. So let's see how this goes. So from underneath the hood here we have to remove the hose first. We need to make sure that none of the nozzle is stuck in the this little rubber piece we have on there. The original ones, the OEM ones, are sometimes a bit difficult. They break off and then they get stuck in there. And um, so now we see how I remove this from the other side. And then we put the new one in. It just clicks in, push down on it. It has a rubber seal around it. So you have to push against that. And then uh, we need to connect the hose again. Just push that on there without breaking the new nozzle. And then we are ready for a test. Right? Close your hood all the way. Make sure you close it all the way so that you see the spray pattern best. Let's put my camera in place and then we do a test spray. As you can see here, this is much better, much better spray pattern. So the whole window gets wet and the wiper blade can do its job. Perfect. While we edit, we are going to refill the wiper fluid and the reservoir that we have enough water in there. As you heard before, water is important. The more the water, the better the longer your wiper blades will live. Okay, so I have this orange stuff. Before, in the winter here, it froze on me, so I had the, the blue stuff in there, so now I go back to the orange stuff. I like it a lot. It does a good clear vision. Crystal clear vision means you have less accidents because you see better when you need it. Always important to have your wiper blades work. Click down here on the left side if you want to see how you replace the rear wiper blade. That's also very tricky on this car, but once you know how it's done, it's easy. <laughs> Alright, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hit the like button and subscribe. <laughs>